Hello, welcome to Harvest Festival 2020. We all are dealing with the COVID-19 crisis that's been plaguing our land. And so we didn't want to come together in person because of those restrictions. But we didn't want to miss out completely with Harvest Festival. So today we're going to have Harvest Festival virtually. And we're so glad that you chose to join with us today. Over the next few moments, we're going to share with you a program. It's not going to be as good as it would be if you were here. Ordinarily, there'd be tables just like this one all over this gym. Uh, the gym is virtually empty except for this table, but I, I wanted to just, in your honor, remember all the great harvest festivals we've had and, and just say thank you for the past and thank you for now and, and, and just tell you how sorry we are that we couldn't have an in-person harvest festival. But today, we're going to put our best foot forward to make it as good as possible virtually. I want to thank you for joining with us. And before I go any further, I want to thank Rob Taylor and his staff for coming today and helping us to prepare and present this Harvest Festival to you. We couldn't have done this without Rob. And so thank you, Rob, and thank you, staff, for coming and, and uh, working with him today. Um, ordinarily, we would have a barbecue today, but we're not going to be able to do that either. But later on, we've got a little surprise for you that I think you'll enjoy. We've got uh, some of our children will be singing later on. We can't uh, put up the, the pictures like we'd like to or have you here seeing them in person. But we're going to have their music anyway. Uh, Brother Rob has helped us out with that. And, and we'll have some pictures from the past. And I think you're really going to enjoy Harvest Festival 2020. I want to open with prayer and ask the Lord to bless us. Would you join me? Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for all these folks that have, through the years, supported and stood with this ministry. We thank you for all the children that we've had the privilege to minister to and for the children that we're ministering to right now. And we just pray, God, today that you bless them because that's why we're here is for them. And we ask you, God, to bless our staff, this team that works so hard to minister to these children, and all of our supporters and all the folks that are out today tuning in to us virtually because we can't be here in person. I just ask you, God, to bless them. Thank you for this privilege. Thank you for this honor. And we hope to glorify you today, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. At this time, one of our young men is going to be reading a scripture for you, and another one's going to come, and, and he's going to pray as well. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be a woman. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He lay, leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in right past the rightness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you and with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me and my prince of my enemy. enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness, I will love and follow me. In the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dear God, I thank you for letting us have a harvest festival, but due to COVID, we can't. So I pray that everyone's doing well and um, everyone that's sick will be healed. Uh, I hope to see you all next fall. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for that beautiful scripture reading and beautiful prayer. We're so proud of our boys and our young ladies here at the children's home. At this time, we're especially blessed to have a greeting from our board chairman, Dr. Kenneth Bell, who's also the administrative of Bishop for Western North Carolina. He'll be giving us a greeting, and then immediately following his greeting, Dr. Dennis Page, our administrative bishop from Eastern North Carolina. He is our co-chairman, and he will be given a greeting as well. And we appreciate both of these men of God and the, and the support and the help that they give us here at the Children's Home. I believe that God placed these men where they are for this time because they have been a tremendous blessing to the children's home. At this time, Dr. Bell. Welcome to the 2020 edition of the Home for Children's Harvest Festival. It's been an extraordinary year so far and in favor of protecting our staff and 
students. We did not want to bring a crowd onto the grounds, but I appreciate you joining us online today. For 77 years, the Home for Children has been a wonderful ministry of the Churches of God in North Carolina. It's especially important that you participate today during the past few months during the pandemic crisis. Our contributions have decreased and we need you to contribute this year. If you'd like to take up an offering at your churches or contribute, you can send it directly to the Home for Children or to the state office or pastors, you can bring a check to our state ministers meeting on October 15th. I congratulate Director Ken and Jane Hudson for the great job they're doing and appreciate your support. This is a great ministry of the Churches of God, and we thank you for your support. God bless you. In 1944, the Children's Home of North Carolina was birthed out of necessity when two small girls were brought to the home of Reverend A.B. Childers for special care and a place to stay. For the last 76 years, this ministry has continued to impact hundreds of children who were hurting in need of care and a place to live. This year, because of COVID-19 and the pandemic, we're unable to have our harvest festivals in Eastern North Carolina and Western North Carolina, but Director Ken Hudson decided to have this virtual harvest festival to give you another opportunity this year to give a special financial gift to this ministry. I believe that we can give the best gift ever to reach hurting children throughout the state of North Carolina. I've had the privilege to serve as the chairman and now the co-chair of the executive board of directors. And on behalf of those members, we want to say thank you for all that you've done throughout the years. But today I want to ask you to give another special offering as we continue to make special strides to reach the hurting children in our state. I, I've seen firsthand the ministry the passion, the dedication of our director, Ken and Jane Hudson, as they lead this home. They're leading us into new territories and, and in creative ways to continue to impact the lives of many children. So I wanna encourage you to give a special offering this year. And from the state of Eastern North Carolina, we give special greetings to you today and thank you for all that you're going to do in the future to help us to continue to do what this home was established to do, and that's to minister to children. May God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Bell and Dr. Page. We appreciate you so much. I'd also like to take this time to thank our board of directors. We have a tremendous group of men and women from across Western and Eastern North Carolina who help guide and direct the ministry of this home, and they're a tremendous blessing. And so thank you, board of directors, for standing with us and standing behind us. We also have an executive advisory board that's made up of businessmen from across the state, and they are extremely valuable to our home as well to help us and guide us through the business decisions and a lot of the uh, things that we deal with here at the Children's Home. So thanks to our board of directors for the home and thanks to our executive advisory board uh, as well. We appreciate these men and women and their support and their guidance and help. The Bible says there is wisdom in a multitude of counselors, and I have been blessed to have a multitude of wise counselors on our board of directors. Well, we weren't able to put our stage up here today and have our children come in and present a program to you, but we're gonna have some singing from last year's Harvest Festival. Our children are going to be singing, and we're gonna show you some pictures from last year. You might see yourself in some of those pictures if you were here, and, uh, uh, our children are going to bless you with a song at this time.
Hello, I'm Phoebe Talley. I'm the secretary treasurer here at the Children's Home. I'm the one who opens your cards and letters and sees your support. And I just want to thank you for helping us minister to these hurting children. Your support makes it all possible. We're sad that you're not able to be with us this year for our Harvest Festival. We miss you, but we hope you enjoy our virtual Harvest Festival. And I just want to remind you that you're still able to send your offering to us. You can send it by mail or online through our website. Our mailing address is 3485 Orphanage Circle, Concord, North Carolina, 28027. Our online, our website is www.cogch.org. Thank you for all your support, and may God richly bless you. At this time, I want to recognize our staff. We have a fantastic team here at the Children's Home, men and women who are called by God for this ministry. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's really tough in this frontline ministry. And if they weren't called, it would be hard for them to do this job. But God has called them, and God anoints them, and uses them every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, there being your hands extended to minister to hurting children. And I'm very proud of our staff. I couldn't recognize all of them here before you today, but I asked Sierra Sloop if she would sit down with our house parents and talk to them a little bit. And so she has interviewed them. They're going to introduce themselves, but she has interviewed our house parents. And we're going to show those clips at this time. These folks work really hard to be your hands extended. Hi, I'm Sierra Sloop. I'm the community liaison here at the Church of God Children's Home. At the home, we strive to ensure that every one of our children is continuously active, physically, mentally, and spiritually. We have been very blessed to have community and Christian resources just like you, that we partner with to foster bonds among the children, to teach them about Jesus, about their health, about life skills, and even sports. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, summer 2020 presented some new challenges for us, especially in this area of keeping our children busy during the summer. We had to be creative to keep the children active and to still keep them excited about their summer break. But because of your donations, we were able to provide a great summer program for our kids right here on our campus. They did things like tie-dyeing t-shirts, pizza parties, movie nights, glow-in-the-dark bowling, cooking classes, and even golf lessons. And that was all because of you. So we want to thank you for how you continuously give to and serve the children here at the Church of God Children's Home. Thank you and God bless. Hi, I'm Aaron. And I'm Caitlin. We're the house parents of the Girls College. We're so blessed um, to have the opportunity to be the house parents for six high school girls. Um, they're such a blessing to, to be a part of their lives and we just know that this is where God's called us to be and we're just so blessed and honored to be here. Hi, I'm Christina Hoff. And I'm Brian Hoff. We are um, what, what is called the lake house parents. We go in between the girls' home and the boys' home to give the um, regular house parents a break. I'm originally from North Carolina and Brian's from South Dakota. And how we met was because I'm a preacher's kid and we moved around a lot. So we were living in South Dakota and I met Brian and we got married and Eventually, I talked him into moving to North Carolina. So, we started working for the children's home, and we love it. It's a passion of, um, to work in the ministry for the church. Hey, I'm Gideon Alt. I work as a relief parent with the children on campus, and I also work with the school uh, we're doing here um, during the COVID shutdown. Um, and I just love working with all the kids there really great kids and uh, it's a great opportunity. Hi, uh, my name is Brendan McGarry. And I'm Katie McGarry. Uh, we're the house parents at the Boys Cottage. Cottage too. Um, and we're from New York and it's even harder there. So when we found the Church of God Children's Home and we knew that the focus was um, bringing Jesus into their lives, uh, we knew this was the place for us because um, when you have that much pain and that much sorrow in your life, the only one to lean on is Jesus. And uh, it really shows a difference in these children's lives and in ours. And 
you know, people think you come to be a house parent because of what you can bring to the children, and that's not what being a house parent is. Uh, being a house parent is watching these children grow and what they bring to you. And uh, they've been a blessing to both my husband and I, and um, bringing our two pre-adoptive children here. Um, there's been some challenges with that as well, but uh, it's been a blessing for them. And um, we're just really happy to be here and happy that these children are in our lives. And, and the Church of God is, is, is in our lives. Yeah. It's been rough during this pandemic, but uh, I guess it's probably rough for no matter where you were, it's going to be rough. So we're probably in the best place we could be during this whole shutdown time because there's beautiful campus here and the kids have plenty to do. Yeah, and they have each other, you know? So, um, and we're grateful that in our home, Cottage 2, uh, we do consider it a family because we do all live there together. Um, they do get along wonderfully, and for that, that's a blessing, and that has to be a gift from God to have that many children, and uh, most of them the same age, and they all do get along really great, so. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen Cannon. I, uh been working at the children's home since January of 2020. I was in the uh, sign industry for a few years. Before that, I was in college and um, came to the children's home at their need. Um, they were needing some extra help and uh, really fell in love with the kids. And um, I was on doing some relief house parenting uh, on Cottage 2, the boys' cottage, and uh, Relief House Parenting on Transitional Cottage, and I've continued to work with the independent living boys, and um, I work in the school tutoring five days a week, Monday through Friday. So I really love it. Um, the kids can be a handful at times, but uh, it's always rewarding to, to see them getting their schoolwork done, and and making progress, um, growth. Um, we always have to kind of bear in mind that they come from places of trauma and with the behavior, we, we try to keep that in perspective. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy uh, working here and hope to continue for a while. Thank you. Hello, my name is Deborah Roseman. And uh, a couple years ago, back in 97, I would drive by here to go to my church and God would always lay on my heart to come over here, come over here, come over here. I finally came over here. So and I talked with uh, Mr. Abbott and some more guys and I became a resource parent. And I loved, enjoyed that so much because of uh, the kid that was in my life, he's still in my life. And that was back in 1997. And here I am again, working for the Church of God Children's Home, and I'm a part-time house parent, and I work at all the cottages, and I really enjoy the kids, the kiddos is what I call them, and I love each and every one, and I have a strong burden to help the kids as much as I can. I don't have much, but God has laid on my heart that little is much when he's in it. And it don't take a lot to do a lot. And it's about others. And I really do enjoy working for the Church of God Children's Home so much. I love each and every one of them. And appreciate anything that you can distribute or donate to the Church of God Children's Home. We really do appreciate it. Love you guys. This is Leon Wallace. And I'm Danielle Wallace. This is Noah. And this is Brooklyn. And we work in the Transitional and Independent Living Cottage, Cottage 3. The Angel Cottage. And we take care of a young man um, trans transitioning into adulthood and just trying to help him become a responsible adult. Teach you, get them jobs, you know, uh, how, how to cook, and just how to live outside by himself. Hi, my name is Beth Gilliard. I am a relief parent for the Mother Baby Cottage. Um, relief basically means I give them a week off and they get to say, yay, I'm so relieved I have a week off. Um, during that time, I am mom. Anything that involves being the mother, that's what you're doing. And I love that job. I taught music for 30 years in schools 
And um, so this is a way to give back to the future and to touch society um, and still have three weeks off. I love it. I love it here. It's a family here. Back in the 1920s, a little girl named Mitchell Case went to the Sevierville Church of God um, Home for Children, or the orphanage as it was called then. She was an orphan. As most children um, who come into the situation go, she was very traumatized. The one good thing about being there, besides having food and shelter, was they taught her piano. She had to take, she had to take piano. Everyone there did. And she taught me. Um, whenever she was, um, when I was 11 or 12, I went to join her at the Malden Church of God Orphanage in South Carolina, and it owned weekends and during the summer, and just see what she did, play with the kids, and was a part of it, and I loved it. I can honestly say that the Church of God Children's Home is a wonderful place for them. As a teacher, I knew which classrooms were the safest for the students that were in my choir. The ones that had the most nurturing environment, the ones that were maybe a little bit caustic or toxic, and the ones that were really meant for children. I'm so happy to say that this is a wonderful place for kids. Um, I'm proud to be a part of it. And I know that the Lord led me here and the people that are here, the Lord led them here. So I will go on and join being a house parent at the Church of God Home for Children. Hi, my name is Sandra Bradley. Um, I have been working for the Church of God Children's Home for six months, seven months now. Um, I am the teen mom's house parent and um, I truly believe that I was called to be here. I am blessed to be here and honored to work with these young children. They are wonderful kids. They've been through a lot. <laughs> and I really have a heart for them. I believe that God predestined them and has called them for a purpose and nothing in their life happens for no reason. And God keeps them. I pray for them constantly that God does for them what he's done for me because I'm a living witness of the goodness and mercy of God. Now we have from last year, a solo from one of our young girls, and we're gonna share that with you at this time. It was a blessing last year, and I believe she'll bless you again this year as well. in my mind that say I'm not enough Every single lie that tells me I will never measure Am I more than just the sum of every high Thank you for that beautiful song. We're so proud of our kids and the talent that God has given them. And we ask you to continue to pray for them, to pray for that young lady and all of our kids that God would bless them as they grow into adults, that they would serve and magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we're really sad 
Now, we couldn't have a barbecue lunch with you today. That's our traditional lunch, uh, and you couldn't be here, and we couldn't come together. But we did decide, in your honor, to set our kids up for a barbecue dinner in our cafeteria. And I asked our administrative assistant, Dell Cannon, to talk to some of our young people about that dinner in your honor. And since we couldn't feed it to you, we fed it to our kids. So I hope you enjoy Dale's interview. Hi, my name is Dale Cannon. I'm with the Children's Home, and I'm here with J.D. Lynn and J.D. Lynn. They're sisters, and they're going to talk to me, talk to us a little bit about what they enjoy um, here at the Children's Home. So you were telling me, J.D. Lynn, about swimming. What do you want most about getting this swimming? I didn't, actually, I didn't really know how to swim. I was doggy running. But I went to the eight foot, 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 and then I stayed afloat. So that means I swam. Okay. Oh, that was last year or a few years that ago? Was, that was, that was, that was, that was only in the summertime. Okay. I remember when y'all were in kayaking. Oh, I yeah. I took you kayaking. We fell in the sea. On Bayden Lake. And I don't remember which one of you were with me, but one of you was with me and the, and the young man was with me. I, he pushed me off the thing. He pushed me off. The thing. He pushed me off. Okay. I, I just remember him doing the circles, and both of y'all just took off. I hate you. Yeah. You didn't like that? No, I didn't like being in the water by myself because the rest of y'all were gone. Like we were gone. It was no. And then it was a fun day. Yeah, I liked it, it but then I was scared because I'm scared of snakes. I, yeah. I don't think we saw any snakes that Yeah. Who was it that got dragged into the oh, curry and bobby out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick swam off? Uh, it was Sabrina. I got probably Sabrina. Yeah, because... Probably Sabrina got, got, got stuck in the curry. <laughs> so you mentioned earlier, too, the curry. What did you like about curry? I like the rice. The curry. Yeah. I like the onion to there. Those are my favorite. The fury is a slow run. I hate it. Until you get down. <laughs> Until you're going down, I remember when they were stuck on the Fury. The Fury is the fastest. <laughs> yeah, there's Fury and there's two later. They got yeah. stuck right on the top of that big hill. Yeah. 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 That was like, you want to get slower? Like, I didn't go in there. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all remember all the hard stuff we've had here? I mean, I mean y'all have been having here five, five years. Our old house parents, <laughs> she took pictures. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Of our pictures, every year she took it, and we yeah. have the books yeah. since like what, 2015 or something. Yeah. Did y'all sing or do any dances? Dance, sing, do all those. Yeah. So this year we can't do all that. We have a barbecue today to do a virtual barbecue for folks that would have come. We get to show them this video. Mm -hmm. For Christmas. Right now, we are planning to do a Christmas banquet like we all are. In the gym, yeah. We are planning it. We're hoping we get to do that. But uh, if, if some folks get sick, then we might have to do that. We're hoping to do the big thing. Anyway, thank you for sharing with us. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Welcome. We're here with Miss Willamette Witherspoon, and I'm going to just be talking to her about her time here at the home. And Willamette, tell us about when you came and how long you've been here, and even talk about your sister if you want to. Submit. Okay. So I came in like fifth grade, like 2013. So I've been here for like seven years, I think, almost. Yeah. And like December 3rd would be seven years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. And Samelia, she used to live here, but now she goes to Chapel Hill. Right. Yes. And she, what is she going to do in uh, Chapel Hill? Uh, she wants to be a dental hygienist. Dental hygienist? Yeah. And she made really good grades in high school in order to do that. So um, tell us what you, what, one of your favorite memories here at the home. Since you have seven years, you have a lot to, to reflect on and think about. Uh, favorite? Yeah. It just depends on like the group that's here, like the the girls that's here. Yeah. Because I don't have like a specific favorite memory, but like it just depends on the people in the house. I remember a lot. I remember a couple of years ago when my wife and I were on Cottage Two, mm -hmm. we had a water balloon fight. Oh. You were involved in that? 
No. no. I hate water balloon fights. Because, okay. like, you get hit by the one and it hurts. Yeah. So you probably hid away in your room. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. But that day was Boys Against Girls. Uh-huh. I remember it, though. Yeah. You heard the commotion? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Your house father, Mr. Sammy, and I, we set that up. And there were there was one occasion that was on that end of the building outside, mm -hmm. and then there was another time over here. Tell us about your school. Tell us about Northwest High School. Um, it's not bad. I like the people there. Um, I like, like, I'm making good grades. I don't have bad grades. Now, last year, weren't you on a sports team? Yeah, I was still on, I do track. Track? Like a, yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I just start. I, well, I started, like, sophomore year. Uh -huh. So, I've been running for a good amount of time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I do the 4x4, four four, the hurdle, 300 and 100 hurdles, and triple jump. Wow. How did you place in each of those? Well, I did. I um. Well, I didn't make it like far because it's my first year doing it. But I was in um. Not mm, my state's way. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You're gonna cut this out, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what's the thought? So my team this year, well, last year could have made it to states for the four by four, mm -hmm. but we got cut short because of the coronavirus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Our 4x4 team was going to make it to states based yeah. on our time. Okay. One one more thing and then we'll close out. Uh -huh. All those years you've gotten to attend to the Living Waters Church. Tell me something about going to church at Living Waters that you uh, really like. I love the youth group. Yeah? Yeah, I like the youth group there. Yeah? Yeah. And who is the youth director now? Uh, well, I don't I don't exactly know. It's been complicated, uh -huh. but... um. Our leader most likely has been Miss Whitney. Uh -huh. well, I love Miss Whitney. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And on Sunday mornings, you get to go and, and do worship. Now we've not been to church in a few months now. Yeah. Because of coronavirus, so we've had devotions on the the cottage here with mm -hmm. the house parents. And your your regular house parents are the Durrells. Yeah. So, how do you like them? Oh, I like them. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're like. They like do activities with us and then it's just like fun. He runs with me outside sometimes to practice for track mm -hmm. and we just do a lot of stuff with them. Yeah, and Aaron likes volleyball, he told me. Yes. And he said, and Y'all like volleyball. And he likes tennis. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah. Well, thank you, Miss Wellbetta. Thank you so You're much welcome. and for being so compliant and in season and out of season. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay. At this time, we have a little bit of a treat for you. Back in the late 60s and early 70s, the kids at the children's home produced several albums. Uh, I think they call them vinyls nowadays, but they produced several of those. And at this time, we're going to share a song from that and hopefully a, a video of a harvest festival way back then. Enjoy.
Finally, I want to thank you again for your support. We are literally your hands extended. This is an outreach of churches all over the state. Because of you, we're able to continue to minister to hurting children. I want to reiterate what Phoebe said and ask you please to remember your Harvest Festival offering this year and send it into the home. We need your support. We count on your support. Your prayers and your financial support is what enables us to do what we do on a daily basis. Because of you, we're able to take children that no one else will support. And I know the Church of God will step up to the plate and support those children. So we take them in and we do our best to care for them here at the Church of God Children's Home. Thank you. And God bless you for all you do all the time for this children's home. Thanks again for joining with us today for our virtual 2020 Harvest Festival. Jesus walked upon the water of the sea of Galilee, but miracles.